obviously we saw a lot of drivers after the race getting out of the car were very unwell. Actually, Logan Sargent had to retire from the race because he was too unwell. He was actually carrying a bit of a bug anyway, but he yeah. was physically really unwell. Lance Stroll, which you know will take his word for it, he was saying he was passing out at parts of the race. No, he wasn't. Look, look. I'm just oh, obviously saying what he said. Blacking out, but yeah, not what he. <laughs> yeah, not what he um, said. So blacking um, out, fair enough. Passing out, I, oh boy. <laughs> I did see Alex Albon when he got out of the car after the race. He was really struggling. He actually had to have Alfa Romeo kind of people check in on him. So my question is, uh, guys, and I'll put it to you first, Logan. Should this race have gone ahead before the weekend? You know, and before everything, should this have actually happened? Because of the time of year in Qatar, the temperature, the demands of the circuit, and also the changes in at the last minute to the whole tires, making it a very high-intensity race and having to push throughout, should this have happened um, from F1, Logan, or, or do you think it was fine? I think the issue in the first place is that we're going to a MotoGP circuit. This is F1. This is the pinnacle of motorsport. Why are we going to a MotoGP track? This track was the most... Yeah, this track was handmade for a different type of racing. That and, I don't know, like I said, it's just, yes, it is a shame that drivers felt well. That does suck. But at the end of the day, that's on the teams. That's on the drivers themselves to be prepared for that. You know, it's kind of like last year with porpoising. Do we need to change the regulations because there's porpoising? No, people just need to not F up their cars and have porpoising, raise the ride height or something. People are trying to look for an advantage, and that's what causes the safety issue. People are trying. People don't have air conditioning in the, in the car or other ways to cool the driver because that adds weight to the car. Well, they erred on the wrong side of caution this time because the conditions were just terrible, what? and the whole race weekend was terrible. The curbs aren't meant for these tires. The, the track was freshly paved in a way that Pirelli's tires aren't the best with. And then Pirelli made that rule in a way that they literally factored in tire strat race strategy and pit stop windows into it. If it was actually a safety issue, they would say, you can't go longer than this. Here's, but they literally lowered That's what that... they did. No, they lowered the number. So, oh, it will be a three stop race. And now it makes sense. You know, it's like, well, I mean, we saw the tire wear in the sprint no, on the softs. I mean, obviously it made sense to have a limit. Even the so, even the wait, but even the sprint race was 19 laps, and like six of them were under safety car, and the people on the softs needed to pit. Like if they had, like if they had probably gone for another three laps or two, even they would have needed to, and that's without the entire race being at full pace. There was like six laps of safety cars. The softs made it night. Like the, the softs probably made it like 14 laps in total. It totally makes sense that they implemented it, you know? It's, you're right that Pirelli messed up by not having a compound available, and the track is not great. But, you know, it's, I mean, ultimately we can't change who, what track we go to. It's whoever goes to the highest bidder. No one really cares that much about going to Yas Marina, you know? It's just, that's just who pays the most for it to be their track is on the calendar. You know, the diamond grinding is just a standard practice of tracks. The track itself is already hard, though, because it's long, flat corners. Zandvoort, you know, it has a giant baked corner. If like that doesn't that that like wears down your tires way less because you're riding with the bank because this is all flat, high G's, everything like that. It's way worse. Like, look at spiel, like look at uh, Austria and Great Britain. Same thing. Flat, high, like flat, super high speed tracks. I'm sure if they both had diamond grinding, you know, we'd also see a reduction in like the soft's ability to last. I think that there is a couple things with safety of drivers but the tires being the way it was makes total sense you know the the hards could probably go longer than 18 the mediums probably were just around 18 and the softs probably couldn't go 18 18 probably just came out to a good median you know it makes sense why that was set at 18 specifically now, for me it's the it's i agree that what you're saying it's like oh they did this for convenience and safety that makes sense but the reason that the FIA gave was based on making the race interesting. Like they literally said it was for, oh, these pit windows would make sense so people can still undercut and overcut each other. Exactly. And yeah, and I'm like, that's that shouldn't be a factor. If it was actually a safety issue, they would have said, hey, the numbers are unknown, so we're not making it different for each tire. And the sprint race was this. 
and the Tyler's barely made it. So we'll give you this number. That's it based on safety that, but the fact that they brought competitive nature into it and changed it based on that just backs up my theory. Again, just a theory. I could be a big idiot, but to me, it just screams because as an American and watching NASCAR, we see this all the time where they make some BS rule up and give some BS reason just to try to make racing more exciting rather than actually protecting competitive integrity. There's a big difference between protecting safety and trying to make something more entertaining and interesting. And I think they went in that direction with this decision. And that's where my frustration comes from. I'm not frustration frustrated based on the changes due to safety. I'm frustrated on how they did it and their intentions of what the rules were being based on making good racing rather than the focus just being the safety. That's what I don't want. I don't want F1 to become another NASCAR. That's where I'm coming from, where we're making rule changes and stuff to make racing more interesting at the detriment to competitive integrity, which is what honestly I think happened in this race. Arguably, NASCAR is the best it's ever been. They had less on their allocation when that rule was made halfway through the race weekend. I don't NASCAR mean to button guys, but yeah. do what do we think though? I mean, I slightly disagree, Logan, with the it was on the drivers and the teams because I actually think you know the drivers are as fit as they can ever be, you know, ever yeah. like they're fitter than they've ever been in the past, and the you know there's not much kind of fitter they can be. They are like almost like marathon runner kind of level of fitness now. So I think like you know for them to be like you look at the cool down room and like Piastri and Verstappen, they were like ghosts in there, you know, they were like proper dehydrated, completely spent. And, you know, I just personally, I actually was a little bit uncomfortable with the, what people were saying after. I don't think you think it when you're watching because you don't, you're not aware of it. But then after learning a lot of that stuff, I think like F1 dodged it a little bit really and got away with it in a way that that could have been a lot worse you know the fact that Ocon was sick in the car as well you could have had somebody crash because they fainted you know and what would that have been of a story for f1 you know it would have been an absolute disgrace um yeah. but, the solution, but i think is just run the race later in the year honestly it's yeah, like which is it, which is what they're going to do next year so um exactly you know, that, you know that, that will solve that problem yeah.